Five, four, Do it! three, two, one, two. Do it! Hey, what's up, guys? It's Ari, and I'm here with another video. Thank you so much for coming. And we are reacting to Signs of the Last Day, Minor Signs by Merciful, Merciful Servant. Apparently, uh, this is going to show us the last days of what's going to happen in the world. So I'm excited to see it. And let's get right into it. It's a very long video, so we're going to spend our time really just watching the video. And then we'll say what we need to say after. said that would happen before the end of time and of course the first thing the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the first thing that he said would be the first of the signs of the last day is his death and the last day is soon upon us and that's what the Prophet said then 1400 years ago how close must it be now let's look at some of the things the Prophet Muhammad may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him said in various narrations first of all the Prophet Muhammad mentioned that amongst the signs of the last day is that you would see the barefooted Bedouins compete with each other in building tall buildings. This is remarkable. Because I invite anybody to look and go and visit Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain. These are places where 60 years ago, I remember when I was in Kenya and they were complaining how there was no more money coming from Saudi Arabia after 9-11 and so on and so forth. And they were saying, well, you know, 60 years ago, we used to send money to Saudi Arabia to help the orphans and the madrasas there. Now you will find the people who only 60 years ago were barefooted Bedouins competing with each other in who can build the tallest building in the world. In fact, it said there's going to be six of the tallest buildings in the world in Dubai in the years to come. This is something the Prophet Muhammad was predicting 1,400 years ago. It is truly a sign of the last days. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, also mentioned that the mosques would become like palaces. And this is the case even though the Prophet وسلم, ordered simplicity in the houses of Allah, the fact is that they've become more and more fantastic and more and more money is being spent on these mosques with domes and floors and golden domes and floors and everything to match with so much lavish chandeliers and carpets like palaces as the Prophet وسلم, said would happen. Also the Prophet mentioned that trustworthiness would disappear so much so that the person would be able to say I know a trustworthy person in such and such town. I ask you yourself if maybe that is not the case today. Also the Prophet mentioned that there will be an increase in killing. The Prophet called it Hajj to the extent that the one who is being killed and the one who is killing they don't even know. The one who is being killed doesn't know why he's being killed. The one who is killing doesn't know why he is doing the killing. I think this is this describing the condition of some cities today where kids are shooting people. The person has no idea why he was shot. In fact, people are being shot merely just to prove themselves or for any type of madness that you can imagine. Not even to mention the massacres of so many people that is taking place due to terrorism, whether it is the terrorism of countries or the terrorism of organizations or individuals. We shouldn't really make a difference. It's all terror. When women and children and innocents get killed, it's terror by the hands of whoever it is. People do not know why they're killing or why they're being killed. To such an extent that it is unimaginable, just as the Prophet Muhammad predicted 1,400 years ago. Also, the Prophet mentioned that there will be the increase in the use of riba 
which means usury, interest, credit cards, mortgages, things like that. In fact, the, to the extent that no one would be able to escape the dust of it, everybody will be affected by it. And this is without doubt the truth of the world economy today. The whole world economy is affected and controlled by banks and the use of interest money. Even though in Islam it is totally prohibited, even though in Christianity, up until the 16th, 17th century, riba was forbidden in Christendom as well. But yet today, it is something that controls the world economy to the extent that no one can escape it, just as the Prophet Muhammad predicted 1,400 years ago. The Prophet also said that there will be an increase in literacy. In fact, so many people will be able to read and write, but actually knowledge will decrease. Isn't that a type of paradox? More people will read, and what do we end up reading? Most of us, we read rubbish. We read rubbish stuff. But we can read, but knowledge, especially knowledge of the religion, despite the fact that more people can read, ignorance has begun prevailing. And this is what the Prophet ﷺ said, that religious knowledge would decrease, not by the books disappearing, not by, you know, knowledge being taken from the minds of the people. No, the knowledge in the sense of the books will be there, but the scholars, so that only ignorant people will remain. And people will ask them for religious verdicts, and they will give it, even though they are ignorant, and they will misguide themselves and misguide others. Anyone acquainted with the Muslim world today will be familiar with this. And the Prophet mentioned though, the speakers will be many and the scholars will be few. And this is what we can find exactly. There are many speakers, many thinkers, many intellectuals, many people, alhamdulillah, giving down. Maybe not enough people, but the scholars, they are so few. And this is a type of sign of the last day that the scholars will be taken away. And this is exactly what we find happening. Also, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said that there will be such an increase in musical instruments and Muslims will make it lawful even though it is forbidden. The use of musical instruments it has been forbidden by the Prophet. Some Muslims will make it lawful. And there are many people who say it's allowed even though it is very clearly mentioned in Sahih al-Bukhari, the most authentic collection of hadith. And this is mentioned here. This hadith where the Prophet predicted that the people will make it lawful even though the Prophet made it unlawful in his country. Just as the Prophet Muhammad, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said. Also, he mentioned there will be an increase in sexual promiscuity. Even though Islam is a religion that teaches chastity that a man and a woman should confine themselves to marriage, the Prophet said there will be an increase in sexual promiscuity. And I don't think anyone can deny that that is the state of the world today with highly sexualized images and even traditional societies that normally had a good traditional moral values. For example, like India, even in India, for example, promiscuity is becoming more and more common, hardly than it ever was before. Even in Muslim countries where the whole idea of sexual promiscuity is so against the teachings of Islam, it is unfortunately becoming more and more common. And the Prophet Muhammad said, that because of this, diseases would appear that people had never heard of before. Isn't that the case? AIDS, for example, diseases that people had never heard of before would arise due to sexual promiscuity. And this has taken oh. place just as the Prophet Muhammad predicted He mentioned that women will be naked although they are dressed. The dress of some women today which in Do all really that, that means is yeah. nakedness. That's With the clothes that are so tight, that? they describe. Okay, so what he means by like women that, that are <clears throat> naked but are dressed at the same time is exactly what I was telling you about um, Kim Kardashian, her dress that she wore. She was covered from waist down, but she had the little, like, small little strap just going over her nipples, leaving little to imagine. So, so she's, technically, she's still yeah, dressed. But, but she's naked sticks. at the same time. So, so what he's talking about is that young women these days, because, um, is he was talking about, um, how many things are being sexualized and stuff like that? Because, like, social media, 
and stuff like that. Because you're making it popular. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that's what you mean. So the so that means that there there are a lot of young women these days that are dressed very provocatively, leaving little to imagine, but at the same time are just covering the main parts. Yeah. every shape of the body which this technology did not exist to make those type of clothes in the time of the prophet yet the prophet muhammad is describing how this nakedness amongst the women will become prevalent and also the prophet mentioned that there will be shouting in the mosque something that is prohibited in islam and it's something that i have witnessed myself and also the prophet said the worst and the most ignorant people will become the leaders and really i have to say if we look at some of the world leaders today, even of some of the superpowers, it seems as if what the Prophet said about the worst and most ignorant people becoming leaders seems to have taken place exactly as the Prophet Muhammad said. Also, he mentioned that a man will obey his wife and disobey his mother, something really contrary to the teachings of Islam. He will rather listen to his friends than listen to his father. And this is something that we have find happening in the Muslim world, even though this is so against the teachings of Islam. Men will wear gold and silk and they will make it lawful, even though the Prophet has made it unlawful. People will abandon the religion of Islam for a small worldly gain. And keeping onto the religion will be hold, like holding two hot coals. I'm mentioning all of these things. And there are many, many more things that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned. But these are some of the small signs concerning the events that will take place before the last day. And as we can see, these things that I have gone through almost without exception, they have... So my overall opinion of the video had a lot of things that I like about it. The whole like they rather listen to their father. I mean, they rather listen to their friends over their father is very true. I find a lot of people wanting to side with their friends over their family. And regardless if you have a bad past with your family, so sometimes it's probably better to side with your family for the most part, depending because, on how they treat you. Yeah, because not everybody is your friend actually. Actually, I'm, I'm talking from personal experience. Your friends will tell you what you want to hear just to watch you fail. Your no, families... No, 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 no. Some, some friends are like that. Some friends are like that. They'll be like, no, nah, I don't listen to your parents. They'll just try to down you. But sometimes it's the other way around. Your friends will, will tell you what you want to hear just to watch you fail. Your, your dad will tell you something that you don't want to hear. So that was he. So, so well, that was hopefully you can take that and use it to your advantage. To I don't think it's just like my friends have never commented on my. Yeah, not to everybody, but not everybody's friends are like that. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, like it's not even just the whole, like, disobey your father or your friends trying to tell you something to make you feel good. Sometimes your friends will do that just to get something out of you. Maybe you have something that they want and that's why they stick around and uh, say things that you want to hear because maybe there's something they want from you. Maybe you have money, just stuff that you know they can use you for. So um, also he talked about just the last days like the buildings and stuff like how in Dubai they built up so quick like at one point, I think some years ago, they didn't have much, and now they have whole sprawling metropolises with huge cities. Same thing's happening in Africa right now. You know, they advertise here in America, like in Africa, there was a lot of cities that uh, I guess didn't have much. Tent, they had tents and bad diseases and things like that, and now you have Africa catching up very fast. I mean, you have entire cities probably beating out America by a long shot, but they continue to put this narrative out on commercials that Africa is like this wasteland. And that's just not the truth anymore. So things are changing a lot. 
Um, and then even the world leaders like um, Donald Trump, I guess. People think he's ignorant. Um, my personal opinion is that I don't know who Donald Trump is. I've never met him. I don't know if he's a puppet or he actually feels his way. But um, for the most part, from what I see, Donald Trump is probably just a puppet because he really doesn't have that much higher power. The Congress probably controls everything he does. But um, other world leaders like Putin, like he's very power hungry. That was that's someone I'd be more scared of than Trump. I'd be more scared of Putin over in Russia than I would of Donald Trump. For the simple fact that Putin's been in office for so long that he even made it law to where he cannot be moved out of office. And Donald Trump is friends with Putin. And a lot of people um, know that. And also like North Korea. Yeah, North Korea is <laughs> like over there they're just <laughs> Like that dictator, like they're crazy. he's so just Yeah. Yeah. But Putin is very, uh, very dangerous, in my opinion. Luckily, he doesn't really have a ton of power, but he is pretty crazy and is willing to do some stupid stuff to get more power. So I would say our world leaders are kind of, I guess, stupid in a way. Uh, overall, I like this video. It shows you the signs of the last day. Do I believe that we're coming approaching to the last day um, in the grand scheme of the universe and how at least how my mind thinks? No. I think human race is coming to an end. Do I think life or last days is coming to an end? No, not really. I think the earth will still be here even when we're gone. But yeah, of course, like things are getting worse. And it did talk about the school shootings. It talked about like how people just going around killing people for no reason. Mm -hmm. That should be a sign that like we really are the human race really is ending in a way. Because it's like you got people just running in places, shooting people for no absolute reason. Now I do know this is mostly an American problem, uh, but it is a problem. It really is a problem all over the world, but in a in a, com a country that is considered developed, like we have a lot of things like technology, innovation, things like that, that shouldn't be happening if we're a great country. Like you shouldn't have people running into educational facilities, into random places where people sit and pay for coffee and be worried about somebody coming in and shooting you. Like you shouldn't be worried about that type of stuff, but we call ourselves a great nation. That doesn't make any sense. So, a lot of this stuff in this video, I can confirm, is very accurate, and I agree with a lot of it. Regardless of my religious background, I agree with a lot of it. So, I give it an A+. Plus. What do you give it? Yeah, I definitely video. give it an A+. Plus. He was very specific. Yeah. So, uh, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you guys subscribe. I know you guys watch my videos, and you guys know that I'm not necessarily Muslim. And I know some of you have been trying to convert me for the longest, but you guys know how I feel about religion. But then again, you guys do request these videos and I do check them out. I find them very interesting. And I think they do have some real world contacts and actually have some truth in them. And that I can acknowledge. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you're not an Arlington yet, make sure you smash the subscribe button, like the video, follow me on all my social medias, Join the channel memberships if you want. Also, I've got some new merch that me and my editor are working on since I'm back to making videos. And I will see you guys next time.